One of the traditional types of power protection for equipment used in high voltage circuits is valve type arrestors. Structurally, they represent the series connected spark gaps and varistors. Shunt resistance is switched on parallel to spark gaps to equalize voltage along them. Spark gaps nonlinear and shunt resistances are placed in sealed porcelain insulators, which eliminates the effect of atmospheric conditions on the characteristics of the arrestor. When the arrestor is exposed to lightning of a voltage impulse, its spark gap breaks and a current passes through the arrestor. The arrestor thus is put into operation. The voltage at which spark gaps break are called the breakdown voltage of the arrestor. After the breakdown of the spark, the gap voltage at the spark gap, and hence at the insulation it protects, is reduced to multiplication of pulse current II by resistance IRI of the series resistor. This voltage is called the residual voltage UOSN. Its value is not constant but varies with the change in the pulse current II passing through the arrestor. However, during the entire operation time of the arrestor, the resi residual voltage should not rise to a level posing danger to the protected insulation. The reliability of arc quenching by the spark gap depends on the power frequency voltage at the spark gap at the time of the follow current is quenched. The valve type arrestor quenching voltage is set by the mode of electrical installation operation in which it operates. Since the closure of one phase to the crown and the work of valve type arrestors on the other intact phases can be taken place simultaneously during the lightning effect. The voltage on these phases is increased. Valve type press to quench the voltage is selected according to such increases in voltage. Valve type presses provide protection against over voltages in atmospheric electrical insulation with 50 Hz and 60 Hz frequency and help to avoid damage from storms or different accidents.